Nyama, Wikipedia article audio. Nyama literally means positive duties or observances. In Indian traditions, particularly yoga, nyamas, and its complement, yamas, are recommended activities and habits for healthy living, spiritual enlightenment, and liberated state of existence. It has multiple meanings depending on context in Hinduism. In Buddhism, the term extends to the determinations of nature, as in the Buddhist Nyama Dhammas. Hinduism 5 Nyamas 10 Nyamas Other numbers of Nyamas Overlap between Yamas and Nyamas Buddhism Spelling Virtues are extensively discussed in various ancient and medieval era texts of Hinduism. In its yoga school, they are described in first two of eight limbs. The first limb is called yamas, which include virtuous self-restraints. The second limb is called nyamas which include virtuous habits, behaviors, and observances. These virtues and ethical premises are considered in Hinduism as necessary for an individual to achieve a self-realized, enlightened, liberated state of existence. In Patanjali's Yoga Sutras, the Nyamas are the second limb of the eight limbs of yoga. Sadhanapada verse 32 lists the Nyamas as In the diverse traditions and historical debate within Hinduism, some texts suggest a different and expanded list of Nyamas. For example, the Shandilya and Varaha Upanishads, the Hatha Yoga Pratipika, verses 552 to 557 in Book 3 of the Tirumandhiram of Tirumular suggest ten Nyamas, in the sense of positive duties, desirable behaviors, and discipline. The Hatha Yoga Pratipika lists the ten Nyamas in the following order, in verse 1.18. Some texts replace the last Nyama of Huda with Vreda. The Nyama of Vreda means making and keeping one's vows, which may be pious observances. For example, a promise to fast and visit a pilgrimage site is a form of Vreda. The education process in ancient India, where Vedas and Upanishads were memorized and transmitted across generations without ever being written down, required a series of Vreda Nyamas over a number of years. At least 65 ancient and medieval era Indian texts are known so far that discuss Nyamas and Yamas. Most are in Sanskrit, but some are in regional Indian languages of Hindus. The number of Nyamas mentioned in these texts range from just 1 to 11, however 5 and 10 are the most common. The order of listed Nyamas, the names and nature of each Nyama, as well as the relative emphasis vary between the texts. For example, Sriprishna Samhita discusses only one Nyama in verse 3.22, and that Nyama being Ahimsa. Shiva Yoga Dipika, Sharada Tileka, Vasishtha Samhita, Yoga Kalpalataka, Yajanavakaya Smriti, and many others, each discuss ten Nyamas. Bhagavata Purana discusses eleven Nyamas, with kind hospitality of guests, to one's best ability, as an additional virtuous behavior. Other texts substitute one or more different concepts in their list of Nyamas. For example, in the five Nyamas listed by Markandeya Purana in verse 36.17, Matanga Parmashvaram in verse 17.31 and Pashupata Sutra in verse 1.9, each suggest Akradha as a Nyama. Many of the texts match Patanjali's five Nyamas. Ahimsa is the most widely discussed ethical theory, and highlighted as the highest virtue by majority of these texts. Some yamas are understood as reverse of nyamas in Hatha Yoga Pratipika. 
For example, Ahimsa and Mitahara are called as Yama as well as Nyama in verse 1.17 and 1.40. The text calls Ahimsa as the highest virtuous habit, Mitahara as the best personal restraint, and Sadasana as the foremost of asanas in verse 1.40. In Buddhist commentary we find the Pankavidha Nyama, fivefold Nyama which occurs in the following texts. In these texts the fivefold Nyama was introduced into comment aerial discussions not to illustrate that the universe was intrinsically ethical but as a list that demonstrated the universal scope of Payaksasamupta. The original purpose of expounding fivefold Nyama was, according to Leti Sayada, neither to promote or to demote the law of karma, but to show the scope of natural law as an alternative to the claims of theism. C.A.F. Rhys Davids was the first Western scholar to draw attention to the list of Pankavidha Nyama, in her little book of 1912 entitled Simply Buddhism. Her reason for mentioning it was to emphasize how for Buddhism we exist in a moral universe in which actions lead to just consequences according to a natural moral order, a situation she calls a COSMODIKI in contrast with the Christian theodicy. In MRS Rhys David's scheme the Nyamas become. This is similar to the scheme proposed by Leti Sayada. Western Buddhist Sangharakshita has taken up M.R.S. Rhys David's conception of the Nyamas and made it an important aspect of his own teachings on Buddhism. In plea the word is spelled both Nyama and Nyama, and the Polytext Society Dictionary says that the two forms have become confused. It is likely that Nyama is from a causative form of the verb Nii. See also Karma in Buddhism In the Ahaslan, the commentary attributed to Buddhaghosa on the Dhammasanga, the first book of the Theravda Abhidhamapiyaka, in the Simagalavilsan, Buddhaghosa's commentary on the Dganikya, in the Abhidhamvitra, a verse summary of Abhidhama by Buddhaghosa's contemporary, Buddhadatta, Abhidhamamtaka internal commentary. The Abhidhamamtika is a matrix of abstracts for the Abhidhama, with lists of pairs and triplets of terms from which the whole of the text can theoretically be reconstructed. The passage on the Nyamas is from an internal commentary on the Mtika associated with the Dhammasaga, and was composed in South India by Koraha Kasapa, Abhidhamvitraparatk. Composed by in Sri Lanka by Visasaram Masmai c. 13th century or Sriputta c. 12th century. This text is a commentary on the text of the Abhidhamvitran Marpa Parakito so is technically a sub-sub-commentary. This commentary is an incomplete word-by-word -word commentary. Kama Nyama, Consequences of One's Actions, U2 Nyama seasonal changes and climate, law of non-living matter, jhanayama, laws of heredity, siddhanayama, will of mind, dhamma nature's tendency to perfect. <laughs>